Okay. So in order to reprogram a scene, uh, we need to know the keypad number that we want to program, which I will furnish for you. And then we need to know the circuit number that you want to adjust, which, of course, I will okay, get so when you. when you say keypad, that's there's three keypads in the dining the one keypad that's up on the roof, yeah, uh, the thing, and then we also have the keypad that's in the manager. Yeah, the managers, which we haven't installed yet. Which we'll okay. Get to. So, each keypad has a number, all right. So I happen to know that A five is the private dining room remote. So the way you program this system is you come into the menu. And you go into installer settings, because remember, theoretically, these scenes are set by us, not by you. So you go into installer settings. There's a menu called Control Device Setup. If you push OK, it gives you all your address numbers. Now, I just programmed the PDR keypad, A05, so it's still there. So if I push Next, it wants to confirm that it's a wall station. Yes, it is. Does it have raised lower buttons? Remember, these are questions for us while we're setting it up, but right. you've got to go through this, right? Right, and yes. You press next, right? It says number of buttons. There's five, four scenes plus an off. And then you get to select what button you want to program. So if you want to program button number one, the top button, scroll up to button number one and push next. And then you can, this is where I was telling you, Eric, a button could do anything. It can do a custom scene, it can do a global scene, whatever it wants. Now, okay. setting those global, those custom scenes, mm -hmm. like say they want to make the um, the uh, wall sconces at 50%, the okay. ceiling fixtures at So here's at what you do. You, once you know you want to do a custom 50%. scene, you push next. It asks you, do you want to see this in real time? Now, this is just in case you're right, programming so a lobby. Be there and say, and okay, you, so you want to say, no, I don't want to see this in real time because we want to do this blind because we don't want to turn the lights off upstairs. Well, no, no, I, I do. Right? Let's say yes because we want to do the uh, the lobby. We're not doing anything. We're doing with the well, pink side. But so. there's, okay, but there's, there's no reason to do that, though. There's no reason to look. Why the designer is going to be saying? I no, the designer lower. is yes. Okay, you know so I mean? in your he's case, be there saying, when it he's here, bring it then you can say yes. Okay. okay, so now you need to know the circuit numbers that are involved in private dining. So I know that it's seven, ten, twenty-six, twenty-seven, thirty-two, thirty-six, and forty-nine. So what you have to do is scroll through here, find the number, and set the value. So right now. Right? Yeah. Dimmer number seven, button number one is everything at 100%. Right? If you want to change the value, you use these arrows to change now, the value. Now, why we do that, since we're in real time, those light levels will go down. They will actually change, yes, because we're in real time. Mm -hmm. Right? So, if I go back to button number two, which is also a custom scene, yes, we want to see it in real. What you'll notice, if I go down to seven now, it's at 75. Well, all of them, you see, there's 10. Whoops, <laughs> wrong button. Two, next. Eh, no. Okay, 75. And what's next? These guys, 26, 27, 32, 36, and then 40 something. 50, so just by putting it in one, they all came up 75. No, no, no. You've got to do each one independently. Oh, I got you. So now I can. So that's what, that's what we were saying. Each circuit could be at a different level. Right. Each set of lights. And then when you're done, you push next, and it asks you for a fade time. Fade time is how long after you press the button it takes the transition to happen. Okay. okay? Typical is three seconds. Yeah, three seconds. Right? Push done again. It asks you, do you want to do something else on this device? So if you wanted to record the next scene, you say yes and it puts you back into this. Okay, and then you can okay. do button two is going now to we be can do Yep, then go to button three the and then custom scene. Yes, we want to see it live, and you'll already notice it's at fifty. Okay, because everything on scene three is fifty. Okay, but let me now all of these uh, uh, circuits are already programmed to those to those keypads. Yes, yes, they are. So forty nine, whatever circuit forty nine is, which is probably one of the ceiling lights, right. is what's communicating with that keypad. The dashes that you see here, mm -hmm. meaning those circuits aren't paying at all attention to those that keypad. Okay, there's some other circuits. Those are reception area or something gotcha. else. So it's okay. not even paying attention to that. It's only controlling All these right, guys. So what should correspond to when you hand me that panel schedule, mm -hmm. 
when I look on this, everyone that's on that schedule should come up with something. Exactly, gotcha. exactly. And you'll know you're in the right room because you're seeing those numbers. Right. Okay? So when you're done, right, next, let's do our fade time. If we're done, do we want to do any more? No. And once we back out, it you'll see it says updating data. So it updates whatever we may have recorded. It's an automatic save. Okay. And then it just goes back to square one again. Okay.